Thank you, music. Those of you who don't know what is going on. Music, bands, please. Bands, please. Now, who pay you say, may you stop? Thank you. Thank you. And those of you who don't know what is going on now, uh, these are the elder sister to Peggy. And they have been married for years, doing beautifully well. So they want to pass them the same mantle to this year. So those of you who are seeing it, it's not a ritual, it's a tradition. Mm. Talk to us, mommy. has done 21 years Whoa. and now lord we are seeing here laying our hands on this couple Hallelujah. peggy and yeah, peggy mm. in the owners mm. king of glory we seal this marriage with the blood of jesus, the blood of jesus. their hands are blessed amen when they go out it's blessed amen when they come in it's blessed amen the works of their hands are blessed amen whatever they put their hands Amen. Lord, we have not looked for children. Mm. My parents have not looked for children. Mm. I have not looked for children. Mm. My sister has not looked for children. Mm. Peggy will not look for children. Amen. As she wants, Lord, you will grant her. Amen. For your word has said that a man that findeth a wife mm. findeth a good thing. Amen. This foundation, Lord, we bless it. Amen. We soak it with the blood of Jesus. Amen. And we say no weapon, fashion, formed against them would prosper. Amen. No evil eye that looks upon them would prosper. Amen. And we say thank you, Almighty oh God. We thank you, Lord, for their friends. Hallelujah. And everyone that has come here. Lord. Yes, Lord. And just like Peggy has said here, Eloha is what we know her as. Yes. Her name is Blessing. Yes. And she's going to be a blessing unto this world. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Any of her friends that are here today that wants the same thing, Lord, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus, you grant it unto them. Amen. That as we are here celebrating her, so shall Peggy and Leonard celebrate them next year. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we've said thank you. Thank you, Jesus. To you, O oh Lord, be the glory. Amen. To you, O oh Lord, be the glory. Amen. And Lord, we're going to say this song.
for me. So after that movie, I called him up and I said, can you tell me more about yourself? And then he told me and I was inspired. Babe, I don't want to go through everything. You, have, you and I have been through a lot. It's been a lot of struggles. It's been a lot of breakups as well. Wow. <laughs> um, you've gone, I've gone. I've come back, you've come back. Wow. You are like a father to me, but my father is here and I love you, Daddy. I love you, Mommy. <laughs> but Frederick is, Frederick is my best friend. Even though I can be very controlling. But Frederick loves me. I've seen you fight so many people for me. I've seen you say, I've seen people say, why not an Igbo girl? And I've seen you say, it is Peggy. And for that, my husband. Wow! Say it again! I will love you. I will learn to be a better woman. Babe, I will never be perfect. I will still fight you. <laughs> I will still protect you. I have protect you, protected you from the first day we met. When I met Freddie, Freddie was not this female that everybody know. Oh. But I see on the internet and everybody say, Peggy, you are lucky, Peggy, you are lucky. People don't know what I've been through. I have stood by the sea. But most importantly, I have met a man who says, Peggy, I will take care of you, be patient. Hmm. He promised me that he's going to spoil me. And Frederick has been spoiling me, silly. And I just hope that this goes out to the internet. Every girl should be patient. Mm. I have been patient. Yes, mama. <laughs> I have always been a hardworking woman. All my friends know. You you understand? Um but when I met Frederick, I saw a man that was willing to, to make money. I saw a man that is not a womanizer. And most importantly, that is why I stayed for this long thing. Please don't change. Up to me. Frederick is one man I can beat my chest on, despite what everyone is saying, that he doesn't womanize. Sometimes I get on his nerves and he thinks that I'm taking him for granted. Maybe I'm not. I'm just a woman. We can be silly sometimes. <laughs> but I will love you. I will respect you. You will always be the crown on my head. Yes. You will be the man I ask for decisions before I make it. To everybody that you have fought my case for, God will fight your case for you. Amen. Thank you for waking up in the morning and saying, babe, let's pray. Frederick, as much as you look good, you make me want to love God the more. Frederick doesn't stop praying. Sometimes I feel bad that I don't pray enough. <laughs> Frederick wakes up in the morning, he prays. He wakes up at night, he's praying. And I said, this is it, good man. And when I met Frederick, small team, he had a girlfriend. <laughs> but then I looked at his future and I said, this guy is going to make it, Peggy stay. Until tomorrow, Frederick asked me, how did you know that I would get here? So to everybody, every young lady out there, if you have a guy that you like, you love him, he doesn't have money, please stay. Stay. Tell us again, tell us, tell us, tell us. <laughs> say it again, say it again. Say it again. Louder. Pray for him. Listen to him. Mm -hmm. Encourage him. 
That is all that I have done all these years. It got to, it got to a point I thought that Freddie would not marry me. I'm like, Freddie, I'm a fine girl. You're wasting my time. <laughs> and he'll be like, wait, 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 wait. I know there are rich guys chasing you. I will marry you. And babe, this has been a long journey. You'll always be my best friend. If we don't fight, who will I fight with? <laughs> Freddie will be shooting. I will call him for my notice. He say, babe, I'm shooting. I say, hey, but what, what do you want me to tell? Thank you for being a brother to me. Thank you for being my best friend. Thank you for being my supporter. Thank you for standing by me. Thank you for not seeing me as... Um... Someone who is not from your tribe, but you get, babe. I remember when I met Freddie. Everybody like, he will not marry an Anambra guy. You Anambra people don't marry robots. <laughs> who tell you? <laughs> what God cannot do does not exist. But Freddie has kept to his promise. And babe, in front of the world and everyone that is witnessing today, I want to say that from the belly of my heart, from, mm. from the deepest, deepest of my baby. You know I'm not a long talker like you, but you know that I love you. Thank you for planning our finance. Thank you, thank you for making, uh, making sure that we grow together. Thank you for holding my hands and saying, babe, we are going to make a big mistake. Don't do this. I appreciate you. I'll always be a stubborn girl. You'll have to do with it for the rest of your life. You'll always be a stubborn man, and I will deal with it for the rest of life, my life. Thank you. But I will never cheat on you. Mm. I know that's your biggest fear. Wow. I want to say that God has blessed us. You and I know that God has blessed us. Yes. And we are grateful to God. Yes. He has blessed you. He has blessed me. And I want you to know that I love you. I will always love you. No matter what happens. Ours will be different. Amen. Amen. You say entertainers' marriage don't last. We will last. Amen. We will be an inspiration to the younger ones. Amen. They would love each other. Amen. We'll show people how it is to love one another. <laughs> we will have the number of kids we want. Amen. <laughs> and for everyone that is here to witness our love, thank you. It's been seven years. Whoa. Seven years now. And Frederick. Lena, I'm now your wife. Yes! Yes! I love you and God bless you for me. Amen! That's beautiful. Put your hands together.